guys. I have had, I don't know how many meltdowns today. I'm supposed to close a week from Friday. Today's Wednesday. We're not gonna close. I have to be out of my house and I'm gonna be homeless. And it has not been a good day. But I wanna show you something. This is what best friend, sister, whatever looks like. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. She came here, ordered food, like without my knowledge, because knew I'd pitch a fit, and is packing up the last bits. And on top of all that, she has a baby at home that's not even a month old, and a and a one year old. So this is what true friendship is. Thank you, love. That's fine. So, in true Brie fashion, there's been a ton of drama. There's yeah. my favorite Jesse. And it's currently partly and cloudy outside. <laughs> partly cloudy. But that's actually what it looks like. If I hold the phone long enough, you will hear thunder. Oh, here it is. So then that means lightning's about to strike. Wait for it. And guess what I'm about to do? Move. <laughs> because, of course, why would it not start? It's been beautiful all freaking day today. And then literally signed the last document and it starts pouring. Well, and it had to be beautiful today because we're still doing work on the house. Yeah, and now all that work is going to stop because we were still working outside. That's true. Yeah. Okay. And the stuff like on the patio, I hope that doesn't just go whoosh. I think that should be okay. Okay, at least we'll know with your backyard with the yeah. bonding. Yeah, yeah. So it's always positive. Right? Gotta be positive. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I just missed the light. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're at the title company. Hopefully getting the keys soon. I've signed all the paperwork. I've had my money for, for a bit. <laughs> we were gonna close today, then we weren't gonna close today, and then we were gonna close today, and then we weren't gonna close today, and we're closing right now. Closing. <laughs> yes. So, thank you. Bravo. You're the best. I love you. Mm. And side note, all of my friends have sent personal apologies to Jesse. <laughs> not been bad to you. You've been great. I oh, lost no. it this morning or this afternoon yeah. when I was like, I chase not the day for attitude. Yeah. But that wasn't even towards you. It was yeah. towards someone else. Can we add it to you? We put that on the table. I loved it. And yeah, we moved on. And everyone it was, was good. You did very good. You're sweet. Jesse's like, do so much. <laughs> we used to be friends. <laughs> No, they don't just crying because they're like, wait. Because why? I don't know. <laughs> so, we're leaving the title company. <laughs> and this is the weather. And I'm leaving here. I'm going to go pick up a moving pole. And move in this wonderful. Oh, it's now raining sideways. refrigerator because I will not have a real refrigerator till Tuesday that is my wine fridge that does not fit so that's my uh, that's my refrigerator until Tuesday I have to have all my stuff out of my house I still own but I'm leasing to someone else I have to have all that out by 6 p.m. tomorrow. So it's 8 something here right now. So I have less than 24 hours to get stuff out of my house. My house that I own, that I pay the mortgage on. Am I excited? No. 
Am I going to lose my freaking mind? Yes. Did I get in a car accident? Yes. And I'm not going to show you because it's actually really <coughs> nasty. Um, I had a really bad allergic reaction to a medication that caused my um, skin and my face to like have this huge rash on it. It's so ugly. You can still see it, but um, it's covered by makeup right now. Not good makeup, but it's covered. And the inside of my nose started coming out and I have this huge ulcer right now in my nose and a rash down my chest. And um, the reaction I had has also affected both my eyes. So it's been an amazing, amazing past couple days. Like I wish that I could drink, but I can't because I'm driving this bad boy. So um, that's it. I've got to open up this truck. The movers are on their way to this house to help me unload, and that's it, you guys. All right, bye. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I'm gross, but I'm gonna show you really quick what the new house looks like. Sans furniture, but lots of boxes. Here is my brand new, new construction. Lots of tears, probably still more tears to come, but it is, Finally mine. This is like the money. <laughs> this is the kitchen. <laughs> there are so many boxes. I love to cook. I especially love to bake, but oh my gosh. How do I have so much kitchen stuff? Okay, here's game room. Really nothing in it. Good morning. It is moving day number two. As you can see, absolute chaos. <laughs> absolute chaos behind me. I, whatever, my house is a mess and that's just the way it is. I say that right now is controlled chaos because it is six something in the morning and right now, I'm the only one in my house. So I have a little bit of control over the chaos, um, but that's gonna change here real soon. And my control is <laughs> gonna go out the window. So moving day two, no makeup, slept for I think four, maybe five hours. And uh, here we go. I was going to give you guys a quick rundown, in case anyone missed it last night, of what happened. Number one, not getting my house. Not getting it yesterday. Number two, getting my house. Number three, not getting my house. Number four, getting my house. Number five, not getting my house. I said fine. We're not doing this. I'm not going back and forth anymore. Number six, get a phone call from my listing real estate agent who says, well, tenants aren't going to be flexible anymore. So legally you have to be out of your house tomorrow by 6 p.m., which is now today at 6 p.m. Me, panic, seven, had a really bad reaction, started probably two weeks ago, kind of blew it off and it's just been getting worse have a really big ulcer in my nose that the inside of my nose is falling out. My eyes are messed up, rash on my face, on my chest. You guys can't see it though, thankfully. And um, dealing with that. Number eight, big freak out, a lot of tears. Number nine, realtor calls me back and says, hey, we can close, but we have to close like now. So how fast? Can you get to the new house to do a walkthrough? Fine. So drop everything that I'm doing, rush to the new house, rush to closing, sign everything. Number 10, as soon as I'm done signing, starts thundering, lightning, raining, monsoon style, raining sideways. Number 11, wait, finally get to the U-Haul place and say, 
here's my confirmation number. I'm here to get my truck. And guy looks at me and says, we don't have a truck. This goes on for like a minute. And finally I leave without a truck and have to haul ass to the airport to get a moving truck. 12, get in a car accident. Finally get to the house with the moving truck over an hour late. No, the movers were here and waiting. So that was my day. Very, very briefly. I've missed some stuff. And now we're doing this. More packing and more moving. So I don't know if you'll ever see me again. Let's be honest, this might be the very last post of Bree's best life because I knew it would end up in an insane asylum. Probably should have happened yesterday. The weather today in Houston is awesome. Currently 74 degrees. It's 7 in the morning. High 94. I just looked down at my tea. It literally says wake up and get it together. I feel confident that I can accomplish 50% of what my tea is advising me to do today. It's moving day two still. I am obviously laying on the floor. I'm in my master bedroom because it's pretty empty. I have been vomiting and had diarrhea for a couple hours and I feel like death. The movers are here. I have to move totally out of this house in six and a half hours and I'm taking a five minute break. My puppy clearly decided to take a break with me. Just trying to survive for a few minutes before I have to get back up and keep moving. The room, everything is spinning, spinning. I'm so short of breath and I'm so tired. This is terrible. I just want this to be over. I gotta go. It has been hell here. Absolute effing hell. If I could, I would have killed someone. I can't and I won't. This is not a confession. I said if I could, I would have. My appliances are getting delivered. They were delivered yesterday. However, the guy decided to not deliver them, not take them off the truck, peace out, and block my phone number. So that was awesome. But now they're here, they're at least off the truck. So, fingers crossed.